So over the last several years, I've become obsessed. <laughs> with what? I've become obsessed with the concept of differential movement. Differential movement, what do I mean by that? Well, this is what distinguishes us from the trees. And I love the trees. Okay, but differential movement is what enables us to get up and go. Okay, whereas the trees stay still. Now, put your hand on a tree. Hold it by its bark and mm, mm, see if you can go anywhere with it. The bark doesn't slide on the tree, you'll notice. But look, our skin shears over the underlying tissues. That's differential movement, meaning some tissues going in one direction relative to another tissue. So tissues going in different directions relative to each other is what I mean by differential movement. And that's the secret. That's nature's secret of what enables us to get up and, and move around. But the problem uh, of, of differential movement is solved in more than one way in the human body. Uh, and, and those two different ways is what I'd like to talk about right now. So our musculoskeletal system expresses differential movement in a different way than our visceral system, our guts. Our guts move a little differently than our musculoskeletal system. So, the musculoskeletal system, differential movement, happens by a fascia. Okay, fascia is the key to understanding. Did I spell it right? Nope. nope. Let's try again. Fascia is the key to understanding differential movement in the musculoskeletal system. How? Well, let's put it this way. If I've got uh, whatever, a group of muscle tissue, let's say the biceps, okay, biceps. And here is the biceps, okay, and underneath it, there's other muscle tissue. I talked about this in another video. Other muscle tissue called brachialis, right? So we have two bundles of muscle fibers, fasciculi, we'll call them. And what enables... <laughs> them to move relative to each other because they have different rates of speed. There are different places on the, on the wheel of life. So they're moving at different rates relative to each other. And what enables that differential movement is fascia. We'll call it perifascia. Let me get my perifascia pen out here. Okay, we'll put a P over it. And the perifascia, okay, is a membrane system I've expanded it for the sake of our discussion because it will be flat and slippery in, in your body. So between your biceps and your biceps brachii and your brachialis muscle, there's perifascia that allows the contraction of one relative to the contraction of the other. And this property infiltrates your entire musculoskeletal system. So wherever there's differential movement in the musculoskeletal system, you'll find membranes perifascial membranes, enabling the distension or the contraction in one place and the stillness in another place. So differential movement via fascia, perifascia. So what's happening in your viscera? Well, instead of having fascia, fascia, and perifascia in between, allowing the differential movement, with your organs, you have fluid, serous fluid, produced by fascia, right? inside of your visceral spaces. So your liver has a skin, the skin of your liver, right? It's fascial covering, it's fascial wrap, and it has special cells on its surface that exude a fluid that we call serous fluid. Well, what about your stomach? Same deal. It has a skin or covering that exudes a fluid so that when your liver meets your stomach, Instead of having fascia in between them, allowing them to glide relative to each other, you have that serous fluid that makes it slippery, like a hockey puck and a film of water skidding over the ice. Right? That's how movement, differential movement, can happen inside of your uh, visceral spaces. So we've got a liver, we've got a stomach, and in between the two, We've got fluid, right? Oh, via fluid. Good. <laughs> so the fluid is called serous fluid, 
So the serous fluid enables the, the, the close-up relationship of your organs. This is ridiculous. There's no space between them, right? There's just the skin of the organ, the skin of the organ, and the fluid in between them that allows them to slide and guide, glide relative to each other. So differential movement in your body, nature solves the problem in two ways. One, by fascia in the musculoskeletal system, and the other, by fluid in your visceral system. And it's what enables us to get up and go. I appreciate your watching. Thanks for studying with me. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.